Recent meteorological statistics predict increased pressure exerted by climate change on the rural areas of the high Andes. To reduce pressure on and exploitation of natural resources, sustainable farming and reforestation techniques are being introduced in these vulnerable areas. Why the issue of deforestation? Precisely, seeing. Considering the challenges posed by climate change and global warming to the resilience of our ecosystems here, we are very interested in the idea of reforestation as a strategy to preserve nature and to retain humidity and water in our soil. Water scarcity is a recurring problem here. Porque el tema del agua es un problema ya latente. El agua es el elemento fundamental de la vida y ellos Water is the basic element of life. As such, they must protect water sources by starting a reforestation program in the highest areas so that the trees allow for the capture of rainwater and retain soil humidity that will then feed water to the streams. And also the percolation lenta in the soil so that it can alimentate the aquifers. Our cerros our hills are bare, with no trees, and it is a tremendous worry for the community. What will happen 10 years from now? There will be no water sources and scarce water. From today, we must understand that to have water in the future, we have to store it. And we believe that with reforestation, we can bring a new balance to the environment. Unsustainable use of natural resources causes a reduction in vegetation cover, overgrazing, as well as low production farming. Agroforestry practices, on the other hand, interlink reforestation and sustainable agricultural techniques in an approach which fosters production sustainability, natural resource management, food security, and food sovereignty. In the greenhouses, members of the community grow tree saplings and tend to their weeding, fertilizing, and watering. The authorities overlooked the matter of reforestation. In the past, they had tried planting eucalyptus trees, but after investigating, we now know that the eucalyptus is not suitable for this area because it requires too much water. For that reason, we are now planting pine trees along with native varieties and fruit trees. The saplings are planted in a special mix, fertile soil, compass and earth warm humus. The saplings are grouped according to species and size and exposed to direct sunlight. Before being transferred to the field, saplings are conditioned in greenhouses. The joint program generates ideas and develops capacities in the community's leaders so that with this knowledge and some specialized supervision, you, with your own resources, may continue with the program. A successful strategy for climate change adaptation is soil protection through reforestation. Agroforestry systems may bring an important contribution to watershed management plans in their ability to retain humidity in the soil during dry spells, as well as significantly reducing the risks of landslides during flash floods. In addition, reforestation and agroforestry practices are low-cost investments easily introduced into the socio-economic context of the Peruvian Andes. We have been working with saplings. We have taken them from the river to the place where we have dug the holes, and they are going to be of help to us. If it is God's will, all plants will grow and we will then sell them. In 10, 15 years, our people will be in a better situation. Gracias.
poniendo mucho esfuerzo. With a lot of effort, they made a plantation of 27,000 saplings, and they are planning to plant 60,000 saplings this year. Que es voluntad propia de ellos. Agroforestry systems increase the quantity of trees and bushes in barren landscapes. Increased soil retention leads to higher agricultural yields, which allows for sustainable profits as well as timber and food security for the rural household. Reforestation and climatic change. It is necessary to plant native tree species close to the water sources. Trees play an important role in soil water retention as well as wind barriers. Special attention must be given to the protection of native species, as well as preserving other species such as pine and eucalyptus, which also have an important economic, social and ecological function.